same day, just played a show at the House of Blues in Anaheim, California to 2,200 lucky super fans. I tried. I couldn't drive 34 hours in like an hour. I would have been there. I would have been there. I would have stood outside the walls and been like this. But I'm on this stupid other coast. We don't have all the Green Day cool stuff. The show opens up with Dancing With Yourself by Generation X, Blitzkrieg Bop by The Ramones, and Tequila by The Champs. Of course, Green Day's classic intro music. When you hear that, when you see a pink bunny dancing around a little bit, maybe you had a few too many drinks, you know that it's about to go down. They kick things off with American Idiot and... I'm sure a few hardcore fans were like, Ugh, again, this is supposed to be a special night. They're playing American Idiot. And then they kick things off with the title track from Saviors, which is weird because we all assumed they were playing the album front to back. That's what it was kind of advertised as. But I think there are a few reasons they could have done that. A, I think it could have to do with the with the flow of like setting up, you know, certain songs need certain instruments and sounds. Um, it could be that. It could be just the flow of the track list. I think that's probably the main reason. Um, but Saviors, and it's the title track, so it's just like, hey, we're doing Saviors. So maybe that's uh, the third reason as well. So they play American Idiot and then Saviors. And then they start going in chronological order of the track list. American Dream is Killing Me, Look Ma No Brains, Bobby Socks, One-Eyed Bastard, Dilemma, 1981. We've heard all these before. It kind of reminded me of the listening party where I'm like, get to Bobby Socks. And then I was like, ooh, Bobby Socks is good. And then I was like, one-Eyed Bastard, I've heard this. I heard this 222 days ago. You get to, and then I was like, okay, Dilemma. We've heard that one too. We've heard 1981, but it sounds better than the live version. And then finally, Goodnight Adeline, right? You get that just, oh, here we are. We're at the other, we, we've made it through. And this Goodnight Adeline, wow. And then they do Coma City. I was trying to follow along last night on setlist.fm and God bless that website. I know people, I know users have to have to submit the setlist because how else would the website know? But God, God bless America, man. Like people were saying they were doing the, the Super Mario theme song. They were saying that like they played the trilogy uh, somebody put they did a daddy long daddy two legs daddy long legs song and people were like what in the crap is this but they went to Corvette summer Susie chapstick the greatest song ever recorded strange days are here to stay living in the 20s now I understand uh, some people said that Susie chapstick sounded a bit faster tempo live I think that that's I listened to it and I didn't really hear that. I think when you hear when you hear the ballads in a rock show, I think they just sound more aggressive. Kind of, I remember uh, hearing Boulevard of Broken Dreams live, and it just it's really just raw, you know, big guitars. And I don't think they changed it. It's just that's how it's how live music is like more aggressive, even in the ballads. Susie Chapstick. You can find uh, performances of Susie Chapstick. That's actually where I got my thumbnail. Of it's so cool when when Billy and Mike were just like together, just a really special guitar and bass moment. Then we got Strange Days Are Here to Stay, Living in the Twenties, Father to a Son, Fancy Sauce. All these live debuts. I do understand that they are. They've been testing uh, testing out Corvette Summer, um, so we'll see. Hopefully, a lot of these Savior songs get uh, get played on the Savior's tour because I know they've got to fill. You know, they're doing American Idiot, they're doing Dookie in full, 
So I hope that at least seven or eight Savior songs get played live, uh, continuing moving forward. But then the night was not over. I thought I thought they were just going to play Saviors, just the fifteen Savior songs, and be done. But they already showed us that they had other stuff in mind with opening with American Idiot, right? And this is this is something that's interesting. This is one of the only, only, only. Green Day shows without Basket Case ever. They played that song a thousand times. They did not play it tonight. They 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 did not play Dookie. It was very interesting. They did play a whole bunch of deeper Dookie cuts. Deeper Dookie. Green Day's uh, YouTube is going to say that that was too political for me to say. Okay, so after they did the um, Saviors all the way through with a one chronological issue there with Saviors first, no big deal, right? We'll let it go. You go burnout, chump, pulling teeth, coming clean, she, FOD, and people were like, oh my gosh, they're going to do Saviors and Dookie. And then they switch it up to give me Novocaine for the first time since 2017. And we're going to, if you just forgive me a little bit, i got to lean closer to you. I'm, I'm giving you a hug. Give me a hug. Yeah, give me Novocaine. One of the power ballads from American Idiot has not been played for years and years. And then, She's a Rebel for the first time since 2010. But this is the first full band performance in 19 years. 2005 was the last time they played She's a Rebel. It's that happy, shining moment in American Idiot. The one glimmer of hope in that record. And then you move on to Extraordinary Girl. Same situation. First time since 2010. First full band performance since 2005. Then we got the classic deep cut from Letter Bomb. I mean, American Idiot, Letter Bomb, Homecoming, and What's Her Name. We got the closing, the end of American Idiot put in here. So I think Green Day are definitely, they've been practicing, they've been rehearsing Dookie and American Idiot, and then we've got all these lesser played songs ready to go, and they've proved it to us here. And then they come back for an encore. And the encore. So the encore, along with FOD. Yeah, FOD was not on the printed set list. And the encore was not on the printed set list. They came back and did All By Myself with Trey Cool on vocals. And then they couldn't end it with that right. They ended with a freaking minority banger, minority. A warning banger, that's what I was going to say there. So, in the, in the scheme of Green Day albums, you got Saviors, American Idiot, Dookie, and Warning. With, you know, 15 Saviors tracks, <coughs> 7 American Idiot tracks, 7 Dookie tracks, and 1 Warning track. It is interesting. I think they're kind of doing the opposite of what they're going to do on the official Saviors tour, where I think we're going to get seven Savior songs and then the complete Dookie, the complete American Idiot. But man, if you guys were there, leave a comment and tell me something really cool, really special that happened at the show. Uh, like I said, I, I am a huge fan huge Green Day nerd. You can see it on the channel, but I'm just so far away. I'm the other side of the country. Uh, Anaheim, California is literally a 34-hour drive. Um, you know, so I imagine plane tickets even would be pretty ridiculous, but I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get to one of these secret shows one day. One more question for you. If you were there or if you've seen videos, I know there are videos of Susie Chapstick and some other songs floating around. Who was the guy?
Who was the other band member? I know there was the three, Billy, Mike, and Trey were, of course, there. And then they had Jason White on uh, additional guitars. And they had Kevin Preston on additional guitars as well. But Jason Freeze was being played by someone else. Uh, there was someone else back there on keyboards and, and backing instrumentation. And I couldn't quite tell who he was. He had hair, so it definitely wasn't Freeze, my bald brother. Um, so I don't know who that was. I'm trying to figure it out. If you know who it was, let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, it was just a fun, fun night for everybody.